I know you just moved here from Denver, right? Yeah. For, okay. Last three years. So packing is a pain. <laughs> totally. Sometimes you leave stuff behind because you're like, I can't be bothered. Well, we got some pros here who are going to show us how to do it professionally and make it a little bit easier on you. Uh, three months too late for me, but hey, maybe they can help you out. Gorgeous day outside. Gorgeous day to move. It's 13 minutes after the hour. Okay, so if you've ever moved, um, you always end up looking around saying, whose stuff is this? There's so much stuff. It couldn't all be mine, right? So, um, unfortunately, some things get broken. You spend forever trying to find stuff. So, Zippy Show Arizona is here to help us out. So, Barrick and Jamie, you were, uh, we were kind of talking during the break. You were saying just be organized is the number one thing you can do to make it yep. easy on yourself. That's right? correct, yep. Being organized is probably the first step. So, using some of these tapes that can designate different bedrooms um, and great. and keep you organized throughout the move is probably the first step and then we've got some tips from uh, from our experts at Zippy Shell to uh, to help make to the help move. us so this though is so perfect because then when the movers have your stuff they put everything in the right room so at least you're not totally lost exactly, right you know yeah. like if you're looking for your pants they're gonna be in this room <laughs> yeah, right? right exactly okay perfect and then this is um, something that's important because you said start with the plates in, in the kitchen right okay so so here's a tip that you're going to do to make sure that none of your chinaware gets damaged. Yeah. Um, this is stuff that all you're going to have in the house. One being organized is going to help huge. Paper plates or styrofoam plates, just grab one of those disposable. Grab a plate. Okay. Make sure they're in between it. This way they will not uh, rattle together. Stop. Wrap them in paper. You can find this at any hardware store or we can provide it. Okay. Pretty simple here. Just roll it up. Can you do the same thing with like your bowls? Just get the styrofoam bowl. Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> yeah, one, of the, one of the most important parts is to stack it on the edge. The edge is always going to be the strongest. Okay. If most people pack it like this and it can rattle and break, <gasps> and the weakest part of the plate is in the center. So make sure you pack it on the side. <laughs> yes, I say yes. I also say yes to this. This is incredible. So these are toilet paper holders. Yeah, rolls. so you can use toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Um, so this is good for any electrical cord that you might have um, so it doesn't get everywhere disorganized. Yeah. Um, and then this is also for jewelry. Jewelry, so you um, you can clasp it through the middle, um, and it keeps it all in one place. Oh, yes. and do you, oh, do you have that, Scott? Untangled. Like, oh, I feel like I work for QVC. Okay, <laughs> but look at this. Look how genius. And that way the stuff doesn't get all tangled up. Plus, yep. they're recycling, and we already have all these all over the place. Exactly. That's correct. Okay, but then also you can do this for us. We can, yeah. So Zippy Shell, we're a containerized storage and moving company. So we deliver a storage unit to your door. Um, you have the option to pack it yourself, or we can hire the experts at Zippy Shell. Um, and we take it back to our storage facility and we can store it for as long as you need or we can deliver it to your final destination. We do local moves across the street or not nationwide moves across the country. Let's say we have like a, a two bedroom, two bath house. How long does it take you guys to pack that up? Probably about three hours. Stop it! Yep. Because it's taken us like weeks. Because you don't know where to start. You're kind of roaming around the yep, house sure. like, but I need this right now. But I need that right yep, now. How long should exactly. it be taking us? Well, we, we let you guys have it for three days if you want because okay. you guys aren't experts. So we're there to help, but... <laughs> we are now with <laughs> yep. your help with yep, all of that. Exactly. Okay, so, and then what kind of tape are you suggesting we use for these boxes? So this is any kind of just normal tape you can get at any hardware store. Um, pretty simple one t tip with tape. If you have a heavy loaded box, make sure you do an X on the bottom. It will give it uh, reinforced st stability. Okay. Um, as far as organizing goes, there's simple things that rope, anything like that, to make sure that if you are packing it yourself, it's secure and it won't shift in transit. Okay. And then what's the, the first box that we open? What should go in there? The stuff like to kind of help us get through those first couple of days. It depends what kind of person you are, but some people like their coffee machine in there. Uh, yes. toiletries, things like that that you know you'll need right when you get there, um, some bedding stuff, things like that, things that you'll need on that first night when you're not fully unpacked if you are doing it yourself. And the tools and the scissors and stuff because exactly. you got to get in those stinking boxes. Okay. Thank you. So where are you guys located? If we wanted to like find out more information, I guess you guys are online. Yeah, we are. So zippyshell.com. Uh, you can also call us at 480-494-2300. Uh, we have a $50 off promo if you just mention 3TV. Uh, okay. Well, we like that. And I also like these little genius ideas of toilet paper holders. Genius. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Kimmy, what you got? Lena, I'm moving, so I have them write their number down for me and grab some packing tape because I need that, too.